and the Al Dafra Festival in Abu Dhabi came to an end yesterday, and the finale was just as appealing as the week's worth of activities. The winners of the Camel Beauty Pageant were announced, and all eyes were on the iconic animals. Shireen Mitwali visited the festival to find out more. Not your average beauty contest. Instead of beautiful people strutting themselves down a catwalk, it was camels. Labelled as the world's largest camel beauty competition, the town of Liwa in Abu Dhabi saw 20,000 camels from all across the Arab region compete for over 40 million dirhams worth of brand new cars and cash prizes. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, ruler representative in the Western region, was present, who is passionate about preserving the Bedouin culture in the 21st century. We have to take care of these animals because this is our culture. If we don't take care of them, then we have no culture. And this is where we came from. Where did we come from? We came from desert. We did not come from uh, industrial families for hundreds of years. We came from this red sand. We lived in this area and we want to be in this area forever. If you think this competition isn't taken seriously, then think again. Given the nature of it and the high stakes for owners, the event's rules and regulations are stricter than ever. With over 1,300 owners, including many royal families from the UAE, Qatar and Saudi Arabia, competing their purebred beauties, the contest is tough. So tough, the 15 judges over the past week were locked in many debates before reaching a verdict about the camel's overall score. The question you ask, what constitutes a beautiful camel? According to Salem Ibrahim al mazuri the director of the festival, a camel's beauty is based on an 18-point scoring system. The head is the most important and is the first feature which is judged. Additionally, they look at firm ears, broad cheeks and long whiskers. The neck and the body should be long and lean. The hump and the back should be big and in proportion. Legs should be straight with big feet. And finally, the colour and posture of the camel should be healthy. Of course, the criteria is something all owners are well aware of. We participated in the group of 25 purebred camels at Talad local asylum labs for sheikhs and that what His Highness Sultan bin Zayed inspired us to participate on a larger scale in this competition. Camels are known as the ship of the desert and have always been the main measurement of wealth along with horses and falcons. So for many royals, including their herd in the competition, is important not only for the prizes, but for the prestige it gains amongst other owners. And of course, the love for the Bedouin culture. However, it seems the love for camels does not only lie in the Arab region. I've always loved camels, and uh, so to me this is my first camel festival, and there's a lot of beautiful camels here. Any of the cultures in the world, any of the different civilizations, cultures in the world have their own culture and tradition. I think it's fantastic that they are, are respecting and loving and cherishing their own culture and keeping it alive. For me this is fantastic. The Camel Beauty Contest is not only important to upholding UAE culture, but it's become a serious investment strategy for many locals. The winners from the competition are not only taking home cars and a heap of cash, but the title, which makes these four-legged friends far more attractive to the open market. Shereen Matwali, 7 National News.